Developing the mental toughness to get what you want. If you really want to get what you want, then you have to ensure that you never give up. There are going to be times when you are faced with problems that you don't know how to solve, and this can overwhelm you. Then there will be times when you are tired and do not have the energy to get your tasks done. Everyone has these problems. So how do the elite few overcome these issues and keep moving forward? The answer is that they have a mental toughness that sees them through the tough times. They have what we call an iron resolve, which means that whatever situation they are in, they will get through it and keep going. Successful people that have this mental toughness do not waste their time on meaningless things like watching hours of TV and social media. If they are overwhelmed by something, they quickly snap out of the state and then keep on going. They never let their lower self dominate their life. Use the law of inertia. What is the law of inertia? The best way to explain it is that it's difficult to change at the beginning. But once you have worked on that change for a while, there will be a great force to keep going with it. You need to constantly battle with your lower self that is telling you to give up and sit on the couch. This leads to lethargy and procrastination. Using the law of inertia, you can strengthen your higher self so that it becomes dominant and keeps you on track. In order to do this, you have to push yourself to do something even when you do not feel like doing it. You're going to have bad days where you just don't want to work on your tasks. The best way to get out of this state is to push through it. When you do this, you will confirm to your subconscious mind that you are a real action taker. Traits for Mental Toughness So just how do you develop the mental toughness necessary to ward off negativity and keep going whatever is happening around you? Well, you need to develop six traits that will make you more mentally strong and provide you with an iron resolve. Here are the six traits you need for mental toughness. 1. Start 2. Prioritize 3. Focus 4. Persistence 5. Review 6. Organization Let's look at each of these in turn. Start If you want to get what you want, then you have to start, and that means start right now. Don't wait around for anyone or anything. The time to start is right now. When you start, you will utilize the power of inertia. Writing a book starts with the first few words. So just make a start and keep going. But what if you can't make a start right now? What if the thing that you want to do is just too difficult for you? Never believe that anything is too difficult for you. Just make a start on it. Most things are nowhere near as difficult as they seem at first. Break a large task down into smaller components and make a start. If you have too many things on your daily to-do list and don't know where to start, then this can overwhelm you and it can lead you to start nothing. So, in this situation, you need to develop the second trait, which is to prioritize. Okay, so you have seven tasks that you want to complete today. Which one do you start with? We recommend that you start with that task that will nag at you all day if you don't do it. Maybe this is paying a bill or responding to an important email. For some reason, you have been putting this off, and now the pressure is really on. You do not want to have this kind of pressure in your life, so just do this thing first. You will feel so much better afterwards and empowered to get the other tasks done. If something is stressing you out, then it will be hard to concentrate on your other tasks. The next priority is to choose the easiest task on your list. Maybe you have always been told to tackle the most difficult thing first, but we do not agree with this. By tackling something easy, you build momentum to move on and use the law of inertia to your advantage. This does not mean that you should procrastinate over difficult tasks, of course. They need to get done as well. It's just a lot easier to tackle the more difficult tasks when you have the momentum from already completing a task and you are not stressed. So, after a task that is going to stress you out, if you don't complete it and completing the easiest task on your list for momentum, you need to take a look at the remaining tasks and prioritize them in order of importance. Then do each one in order. Focus. The ability to concentrate fully on what you are doing until it is complete is one of the most powerful tools for your mental toughness. It is tougher now to focus on things than it ever was before because today's world is full of distractions. Make sure that you avoid obvious distractions. Don't try to work on your tasks with the TV blaring in the background. Similarly, it will be really tough for you to complete your tasks in a room full of people that are talking. You know the things that are going to distract you, so avoid them. It is almost impossible not to be distracted all of the time. When this happens, you need to focus on what you are doing again. If you are the type of person that has a wandering mind, then keep focusing until it becomes second nature. Persistence. This is another great mental toughness trait that you simply must develop. Persistence wins wars, wins gold medals at the Olympics, creates multi-billion dollar companies and finds cures for diseases. It is the total opposite of giving up. When you give up on something, no matter how small, you let your lower self creep back into your life. Your subconscious receives the wrong signals, and this will make you more likely to give up again in the future. Why do people give up on stuff? One of the most common reasons is fear of failure. 
do you think that people that have everything in their life didn't make mistakes and feel like giving up at some point? Of course not. But they didn't give up because they were persistent. They learned from their failures and they moved forward. If you are in a situation where you feel like giving up, then get out your goal sheet and read the reasons why you were doing this. This will light a fire under you and give you the motivation to keep on going. Stand up and move your body. Punch the air and say out loud, come on, to give yourself renewed energy. Keep working on your persistence. It is a very valuable mental toughness trait to have. You will never get what you really want if you keep giving up. Persistent people always win the day. Review. This one may have you a little puzzled. Why is this necessary for mental toughness? It is very important to review what you are doing regularly to see if you are on the right track. If you don't do this, then you can spend a lot of time and energy moving in the wrong direction. Let's say that one of your goals is to lose weight. One way to review this is to step on the scales regularly. But there is more to it than that. Does your new regime make you hungry and tired? Are you feeling healthier through what you are doing or unhealthier? When you review the things that you are doing, it will tell you what is working and what isn't. You can do more of what is working and take a different approach with the things that are not working out as you expected. So, plan regular reviews of your progress towards your goals. You really need to know if you are on the right path or not. Organization. If you are disorganized in your life, then this will present you with a number of challenges that you can easily avoid. Imagine needing something to complete a task and not having a clue where it is. This can be a computer file or a physical document, for example. You have to find it, and this will stress you out and waste your valuable time. There is no magic wand to wave for better organization. It is just something that you have to do. When you receive or create a new computer file, save it in a place where you know you can easily find it in the future. Don't just save it anywhere. Over time, you can build up thousands or even millions of files on your computer. A simple folder system will work. Each time you work on something new, create a new folder for it. It will only take a few seconds to do this and will save you a ton of time in the future when you need to refer back to the important files that you have. Organize all of your important papers as well. Use a small filing cabinet or home organizer so that you can easily locate things. Turning your home upside down to find a document is very frustrating and will put you in a bad mood. In the next video, we will discuss how to use the Law of Attraction to get what you want. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.